good morning good afternoon and good evening my dear friends let us start video of uh, backup and replication for that we need to go to the inventory and then go to the your virtual infrastructure and this is your host you can do same thing with the physical infrastructure as well the host 132 contain a one virtual machine and 134 contain no virtual machine so as you can see let me also show you here it's 132 and there's a windows 10 on it and there's another host there is nothing on this okay so what i wanted to do is i wanted to back up this uh, i wanted to back up this and replicate it to go over here okay so then i'm going to make a failover plan that in any case this machine don't work this will automatically start but first let us back up let us replicate and let us do how to manually you can create a failover and how we can roll it back okay in any case if this virtual machine will come back again so i can roll back so <clears throat> first of all for that you need to go to 132 and right click here and add to replication job new job and you can give a name replication job okay leave everything default this is your windows 10 if if there are more virtual machines you can select and add i have only one go next which host you want to replicate it so replicated host is 134 i am replicating from here to here done so it will automatically pick up your data store and everything go next select your backup repository i'm using repository one if you are using default that's fine but i do not have a free space in the default repository so i'm using backup go next go next and leave everything default make sure check this one and then finish now you can go to your home and go to the running option and you can check the progress of your backup and replication it may take uh, exact almost the same time it takes for the backup and here is your job status it is running right now and it takes few minutes so i'll pause the video i'll resume it back to save the video length now we can see this application job has been stopped and uh, it's success okay and uh, in the home there is a new option has appeared in the job there is a replication and then there is a replica and which is windows 10 and which is ready okay so i'll go to the client side that is 134 and we can see a new windows is here that is windows 10 replica and uh, that's the old one yeah so this is the actual uh, live machine which has been running and that application is created on the another server which is done but it is not started so that for that we need to create a failover and uh, there's another option here uh, manual is there one is there is a failover plan so you can set up a plan and automatically that will work this is a planned failover but one is failover now if you do that failover now there's a windows 10 okay and next and finish so let us see what is going to be happen with the failover now this machine is going to be off and this machine is going to be on and active so when you roll back this you know you wanted to come back to this i'll then you need to be roll back the feature so this will again go back to the dawn and then this will come back so it is happening let us see yeah it is powering on the virtual machine failover completed successfully so let us see the replica has been started yeah so this machine has been started okay so you have to plan failover only you plan failover when you need to power off this or this machine is already power off then only you plan failover and this will be active 
so now you can power off this machine you can do maintenance you can do whatever you want it to do this machine is live active and running i can show you so you are going to find a machine which is almost ready yeah it's processing so now i wanted to come back to one more thing which failover has been done right click and there is an option called permanent failover okay and undo failover permanent failover mean you are very sure that this machine will not be back again and you wanted to do all the operations from here then you can select permanent failover and undo failover is you this machine you want this machine is live and you wanted it to be active and you want to remove this machine so that's a undo so let us go and try the undo failover feature and uh, right click here and undo failover and let us see what is going to happen in undo failover this is one machine and this is the second machine okay so you see undo failover powering of the virtual machine and done so if if i wanted to show you that success and let me minimize this now you see the replica machine is off automatically because i have done undo failover and this machine is live and in operations so that's the one and let us go with the one more feature here right click and uh, there is a more option let us do that in the next video thank you